Standing here in 1958, you would have to beware of massive earth-moving machines. They were busy flattening the rolling hills to make way for B-52 bombers. But the bombers never arrived. Construction stopped at the 5,500-acre Richard Bong Air Base before it was completed. Happily, of the many suggestions offered for using this altered land, recreation prevailed. To honor the World War II flying ace from Wisconsin, the recreation area retained Richard Bong's name. On your visit today, marvel at the native plants and wildlife reclaiming the land. Participate in or watch the multitude of recreational opportunities. Enjoy and protect this gift from history. Every visit here offers its own surprises. You may see people enjoying traditional recreational uses like hiking, biking, or horseback riding. Because air base construction altered the land, you may also see hang gliders, model airplanes, or rockets zipping overhead. Or you might watch ATV riders or dog trainers using the property. Be alert for many natural surprises too. Pockets of native prairie come alive with colorful grasses, shimmering butterflies, and rare birds. Fertile wetlands teem with frog calls, waterfowl, shorebirds, and turtles. Stunning 300-year-old oaks shelter delicate wildflowers and flitting warblers. But the best surprise of all is how this leftover and unwanted land became a haven for recreation, natural beauty, and wild things. Visit often to discover your own surprises. We'll see if you can hear me over the wind. I am standing in what? Long road going that way. Road going that way. In what was supposed to be and built for a runway for bombers. Okay, we're going to take a look at the Sunset Campground as in the western edge. Let's take a look at sites 103 through 347 first. Out here on the end of the runway, we got some good brush cover between. I got a camp post here on the right. And looks like two other, there's three sites there. 303 on my left. And 304, which is a pair. There's a cabin hiding back here that is available to rent. 307 on my right. Well, I don't know how much good a tour is going to be because, well, what you're going to see right now is the fact that you can't see anything driving forward. Um, considering I've been on a prairie up to this point out here suddenly we're all in tight little spots where you don't see anything <laughs> it's all wooded some overflow parking 311 on my right um, we're even getting more wooded as we go back now 312 on my right uh, you can see how packed in they are over here on 313 Put the wipers for you 314 on my left is yeah we're definitely in wooded sites so you're not going to be able to see much now 315 317 316 on my right I don't know what the color codes are between brown and green none of these are electric 319 on my left yep these are all very very wooded sites um, not mature trees, 320, 321 on my left. They're not tiny sites, they have some space in them, but they're tight in within their brush. Um, 323 on my left. 324 on my right. 325, that's a pair of sites together. Now, these pair, this pair is also backed up to the road, one of the roads that brings you in here. So right to my right is a road. 326 on my left, and that is a road outside the park. 327 on my left.
328 on my right, 329 on my left. I'm sorry that I really can't see much on these. They're all very basic sights. We got a toilet straight ahead. 331 on my left is the accessible site right next to the pit toilet. 330 on my right. 332 on my right. 334, 333 on my left. These are fair sized sites. There's quite a bit of room on them. 335 right now there's nobody here I am here on driving through on a Wednesday so that may make a difference 336 on my right 337 on my right they're close together but they do have a little split of shrubbery between them 338 straight ahead there 339 on my left um, all fairly large sites some of them check your length restrictions because they put a curb to tell you how far you back you can go 340 am I right 341 on my left 342 on my right and 343 again with just a little split between them 344 on the left a little more room a little more isolated 345 on my left 346 on my right now we're kind of getting back out into the prairie 347 on my left it's got a fair size travel trailer in there let's see what the other half of this end campground has to offer yeah we do have a shower house between the two loops here on our second loop start with our overflow parking First site is pretty exposed, 401, 402 on my left, a little more exposed as well, 403 on my right, so there, 305 on my left, there's cover between the sites, but they're not overly wooded, if you had solar panels on your roof, they would be useful, 405 on my right, 406 on my left, 407 on my right. 408 on my left. 409 and 410 are shared sites. That is a pair of sites. 411 uh, just ahead there on my right. 412 on my left. These are not as wooded as the other loop but they're, I wouldn't call them out in the prairie. 413 on my right, you do have good cover between neighbors. 414 on my left. 416 on my left. 415 on my right. Not a very deep sight there. These are definitely really pushing towards the tents and lots of tents. 417 on my right. Lots of good space to put your tent in these sites. Crossing a service road, which means I believe we are out here right now near the other exterior road again. 418 on my right, 419 on my left. It's got a nice tree in it. 421 on my left, 420 on my right. Another nice tree in that site. 422 on my right. 423 on my left. These feel a little more open. You still have cover between you and your neighbors, but it's not as high. 424 there, straight ahead. You can kind of get a sense of that. 425 on my left. I've got park staff cleaning up some debris. Let's see if I can get around them. Maybe. 427 on my left. 426 is what he was work cleaning up in. 428 on my right. 429 on my left. All decent.
decent sized sights. 430 on my right. 433, 434, 431 on my right, 432 on my right, the other two are on my left. So I'm left a picnic table right in the middle of the drive. 435 on my right, 436 on my left. Now, with all these sites, I have seen five campers so far on this campground. 437 and 438 on my right, kind of shared pair, but not directly, but fairly shared. 439 straight ahead there with a picnic table in the middle of the drive. 440 on my left. 441 on my left. Fairly open there. I feel like we're getting close to the end. We got the service road. That's where I'm crossing. Uh, the toilet on my left. Bit of open space here. 442 is very open. 443 on my left here. And apparently it's going to rain on me now. 445 on my left. 444 on my right. Oh, there's actually somebody there. So you don't even know someone's in these spots until you're right on top of them. 446 on the right, 447 on the left. Like I said, if you have solar panels on the roof, they're going to work today. Or up if, well, they will work out here when there's sun. 448 on my right. 449 on my right. 450 on my left. These look like 450 looks like it's been worked on recently. Getting close to the end here. 451 and 452 are a pair for friends. 453 on the left. And that is the loop for both loops here at the sunset end of the park. Like I said, we do have a nice shower building over here, and I will swing in and let you look at that. I don't know why they have to, but I got to show you the sign. Oh, those are no dogs allowed in the showers. Don't bring your dog here. In the showers. see it. I don't know how to get to it. I can't really get to it. Nope, it's a hip waiter thing. Oh no, there's steps. Oh. Steps into the water. Get to the blind. So, besides an abandoned runway or a runway that never really existed, this place is based on prairie, except for obviously where I am right now, but we, I'm right up against wetlands where there's a lot of different waterfall habitats and things. So this is the largest prairie, maintained prairie in southwest, southeast Wisconsin. And it is extensive. And because it's more prairie through most of it, it allows a lot of opportunities for recreation. There are huge areas to train your dog. There is an area they decide to keep with the aviation theme here, there are um, RC model aircraft field 
and a separate rocket launching field. Um, both on the old runway, there is a section that is specific for dirt bikes. There are equestrian trails all over the place, mountain bike trails, hiking trails that just sort of meander all over. I mean, it's four miles from one end, from one campground to the other, and all the stuff is in between. So there's a lot of recreational opportunities here, as well as one of the first campgrounds in Wisconsin uh, through the state park or Wisconsin DNR system that you hit when you come into Wisconsin. We are in Kenosha County. So you come over the border from Illinois, uh, we're just outside of Burlington and you're here. If you're gonna spend a weekend at the Renaissance Fair, just over the border um, to Illinois on this side, the Wisconsin side, you can stay here. It's a really close by resource for camping. Now looking at this parking lot, I'm down by the beach now. It's extensive. It, there's like five of these sections. They look unused. I haven't seen this much, you know, greenery within a parking lot in a long time, except for an abandoned place. But down here at Wolf Lake, I believe it is, in the middle of this expansive park or recreational area, let's go take a look at the beach. Now, again, I am lucky to be here on a rainy day so I can actually show you the beach without having to uh, look like Mr. Creepy out here. So they have this wonderful um, let's see, so you start up there on the path, there is a little rinse off station, come down the gravel path, and once you get to the sand, they put in this wonderful fabric path, it gets you quite a ways down, and then, you know, this is for making this area accessible, and still very much a beach. And this is looking very clean compared to a lot of beaches I've been to. You still get a little bit of goose poop down here, but the water itself is clear. Gulls. Yeah. Got shelters around here for day use. Another shelter over there, volleyball court. Plenty of things to do around here. And there's a boat ramp over there. And since this is not a state park, it is managed by the Wisconsin DNR, it offers up recreational opportunities that are not available in state parks, such as um, dirt bikes and model rockets and airplanes and things like that. Okay, we are at the Sunrise Campground. We're going to look at sites 1 through 30. Now there is a note here, large trailers not recommended past this point. So don't bring your big rigs in sites 1 through 30. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to see these sites. I'll describe them as best I can. Again, we're on the we are on the edge of the prairie. Um, that's site one already. It's a back in site, but once we get here, they let the brush grow. Site two on my left. Now, these are big sites. Um, I'm not sure what the restriction on the trailer is, unless it is, there is a sharp corner somewhere. Three on my right, a little smaller, not as big. These are non-electric sites. Four and five are sort of a pair on my left. Got a water station straight ahead. And a pit toilet beyond that. Uh, six 
is electric. Now we're in more wooded area. Six, seven is, and eight are a pair, and they're kind of open up to six too. So all six, seven, and eight, oh, not electric. Maybe six was, no? Yes, they're not electric. Uh, nine on my left, 10 on my right. 11 on my left. Definitely wooded sites now. Uh, that one, you have a parking pad and then a set, step down to get to where you would put your tent. 12 on the right here, much smaller sites. 13 on the left. 14 and 15 are wide sites to be shared, no cover between. Nice trees, you actually might be able to get a hammock in there. 16 on my left, there is nobody here. There is nobody here, I'm in the middle, I'm at the beginning of August and there's nobody here. 117 on my left, 118 on my right. It is a Wednesday, that might make a difference, but still, 19 on my right. 20 on my right. Let me just show you a 20. So I can actually show you a site. There's nobody here. Except nobody here. That's 20. That's what these sites are like. Hope that helps. Backing up. Twenty-one on my left, twenty-two on my right. Information board. Wow. Okay, back it up here. I'm gonna have to show you this one. Okay, so twenty-one. Let's uh, let you look at this site. This is 21. It is next to the pit toilet. I don't believe it has electric, but it is huge. And there's a whole bunch of buckets. I don't know what those are for. Backing out again. All that green space. That's not normal. pump a baker pump on my right 23 uh, my right 24 again a pair and like I said the uh, pit toilet on my left fairly new one 25 and 26 on my right again shared sites with some nice trees great for a whole bunch of tents there 27 on my left Got a whole bunch of tents hiding in there. 28 on my right. So I actually did have somebody on 27. Woohoo. 30 on my right. 29 on my left. And that is the loop. They do not recommend big vehicles. No, because they don't want your vehicles on the grass. Stay on the pads. We'll go check out the other section. Back out at the entrance here, we have group camping site A. That's that whole section up there with all this parking down here. Fire ring with the benches all the way around. Lots of picnic tables. Not convenient to a restroom. here go look at sites 100 through 237 that's a lot of sites I think we are in two loops maybe we'll see got a playground drive slow 
Yes, two loops. So we're going to start on the 101 through 150, and this is a backward loop. I got to go left first. 101 on my left. 102 on my right. That's crammed a fifth a fifth wheel in there. 103 on my left. 104 on my right. Oh, we do have electric on my right. So we finally have some power. 106 on my right. And that's why there are people at these sites. 105 on my left. People really want their AC and power. 107 on my left. 108 on my right. Now, no power here. 109 on my left. 111 on my left. Again, we're just very brush covered areas. 110 on my right. 111, 112 on my left. Not huge sights. 113 on my left. No power. Those are all very short. 114 on my right. 116 on my right. 115 on my left. That's more wooded feel on my left. 118 on my right. 117 on my left. Still very wooded. No grass, just dirt because it's got too many, too many, too much shade. 119 on my left, 120 on my left. One twenty two on my right, one twenty one on my left. Yeah, these are not the easiest to see into if our drive through. One twenty four on my right, one twenty three on my left. One twenty five on my left, one twenty six on my right. One twenty seven on my left, one twenty eight on my right. That's a little more open. 130 on my right, 129 on my left. Do I have a toilet? I have water on my right. Oh, this is a site. Huh. 132 on my right. I thought that wasn't a site. 131 on my left. So that one was very open. Uh, arrow to a trail to my right that takes you to a flush toilet and shower. 133 on my left, 134 on my right, 135 on my left. Let's just say there are plenty of sites available if you don't need power. 136 on my right, 137 on my left. You can see the next site, which I don't even see a number for. Where's the number for this site? But normally you wouldn't be able to see into the site because of brush. But that's what they all look like with more brush. 138 on my right. Now we're connecting in with the loop from the other side. So 140 on my right is electric. 141 on my left is electric. And there's room. And the trail continues to the flush toilets and showers. 142 on my right with the Class A. 143 on my left. One forty-five on my left. One forty-four on my right. Does not appear to have power. One forty-seven on my left. One is with power. One forty-six on my right is electric as well. Uh, we got this fifth wheel on 149 on my left. Another class, big class. Oh, that's a class A on 148 on my right, plus their truck. 150 on my right. With a larger pop up style. And I'm back at the entrance merge. Now I'm going to go left around to one, uh, 201 through, 270, through 237. So 
So it's a 200 loop here. 201 on my right does have electric. 202 on my left, small travel trailer in there. 203 on my right. 204 on my left. Well, there are sites with electric available midweek. 205 on my right. 206 on my left. Two hundred seven on my right, two hundred eight on my left, two hundred nine on my right with a big class C, two ten on my left. Why do I feel like I got a camp host here? Two twelve on my left. You know that big site in that first loop? I bet that was kind of a host site. Two eleven on my right. 13 on my right shower house is hiding in the middle 213 has a big old class C from Texas 214 on my left is the accessible site near the shower house 215 on my right 216 on my right 218 on my left 217 on my right coming up here these are all electric. Feeling a little more open and airy again. Let some sun in. 219 on my right, 220 on my left. Fairly deep sights now. 221 on my right. I got a tree to limit you there. 222 on my left. 223 on my right. 224 on my left is wide open. 225 on my right, 226 on my left, 227 on my right, 229 on my right, 228 on my left. Trail to the hiking trails from here. So you do have trails right off the campground. 230 on my right, let's get a Jeep and what's hiding with the Jeep? That looks like a, yeah, it's a small trailer. 232 on my left. 231 on my right. Okay, on my left is group camp C and on my right is group camp B. Group camp C, get a general sense here. Nicely wooded set. Plenty of room for tents and hammocks. We'll take another look at B on the way back out. site camp group D out here this one is across from a pit toilet get you a sense of what this is like plenty of trees to hang hammocks lots of room for stuff get your firing with benches around and a water supply big bonus has the bathroom right across the way Camp F over here. I'm at the end of the road here. Uh, much more open green grass than some of the others. And the one across here is much more wooded, tucked back in there. I'll give you that number in a second or letter. That's a very wooded site, tucked in. Wooded one is Camp E. Alright. Well, Camp B is a lot like E. It is tucked in the woods. So I really can't show you that one. So that's the group camping. There was a playground and a volleyball pit there at that junction. So that's Bong Recreation Area, State Recreation Area, and the key word here is recreation. I can't really show you some of the stuff. 
Um, I don't have a horse, can't show you that stuff. I didn't bring a mountain, mountain bike, there are trails just for that. I didn't bring an ATV, there is a, one separate section of uh, just off-roady trail thing for that, and a separate section for mini bikes or motorbikes or, or dirt bikes, I should say. Um, just a whole little loop for them, or I wouldn't even say little, it's probably pretty big. And that's, those are both within the runway complex. And then there's a section for training your dog, uh, for hunting, for agility, for um, retrieval, those kind of things. There's sections for that. There are sections with all sorts of uh, blinds for waterfowl. There is, uh, I saw dove hunting um, information out there. So there is a lot. This is very well managed. There's a lot to do. They, it's still very natural, but there was no geological feature that needed to be featured. It had been plowed, cleared, and turned into a runway that never happened. And somebody said, let's take that and put it to recreational use. Managed by the DNR, beautiful prairie, um, grasses, and they've done an excellent job. And there are a ton of campsites here too in a very accessible location. And on a midweek, you got your choices. You can bring large groups and no one's going to care. And there are some great group sites too. And they are actually active, which surprised me. Um, most state campgrounds I go to, the group sites are just always sitting empty. These, there's quite a few groups using them, which is great. Now, you'll hear in the distance, there is a highway that kind of runs along and through the park, and you kind of hear that all day long. I was never felt like I was out of earshot of that. Um, but in here, I'm in this little weird little garden they created. It kind of encourages you to create and get into it. Uh, so thanks for coming along on this journey with me to Bong Recreation Area. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to these videos. If you want to see more like this, it'll help the YouTube algorithm find these videos for you. And you'll see other things like it. And get on out there.